Hello my beautiful Scorpios, it's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel. For the day commencing for April 4th, 2022, we're going to go ahead and dive into the reading and see what our trusted ancestors, our spirit guides and guardian angels would like for us to know. And of course, any uh, spiritual messages from them and um, anything that has to do with your specific person, how are they thinking, feeling currently about you right now, okay? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, Rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I have the power of number four. Yes, we are technically in the fourth month of the year of 2022. We could see the Emperor card kick in. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Taurus throughout the month of April. However, I'm picking up on the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. Power of number 10. We could see the Wheel of Fortune card show up, a faded turn of events. You could also be dealing with a fixed sign an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or another Scorpio, such as yourself, okay? Your person's first and or last name could start with the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within his or her name. Power of number one, we could see the Magician and or any of the Aces kick in, so you could be dealing with any Zodiac sign. Looks like we are going to the power of number 15, which is in representation of the devil card, sign of Capricorn in the tarot deck. I am picking up on justice card, the fool card. The justice card shows up. Some of you are dealing with the Libra. Temperance I'm seeing as well. Power of number 14 versus power of number 15. The angel intemperance versus the devil card so there could be definitely some kind of a spiritual warfare that's going on here scorpio maybe you're going through a battle in your mind right now the hierophant could kick in some of you were dealing with the taurus or a gemini throughout the month of may I'm also picking up on the Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Okay. Going to the power of number 15. Number 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. Trusted ancestors and my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, what is going on in the overall current energy for the day commencing for April 4th of 2022? Any additional spiritual messages that we need to know? Um, any messages from the divine masculine or the divine feminine? What's going on? Mm, three of Pentacles, somebody wants to work something out with you, Scorpio, or it could also be a work-related environment situation. There could be more teamwork and or collaboration hitting you up in the work environment, or some of you who are in uh, your own businesses, um, your entrepreneurship, you may be thinking about taking on uh, somebody to help you out. Somebody needs to ask for help. Or to help, like, um, it's like the meeting of the minds or like a mastermind group to come up with ideas. Something about ideas. Somebody's holding a contract or somebody's getting ready to sign a contract. This could be documentation, paperwork, tax season. 
I just heard child support payments. Somebody is also speaking, um, seeking spiritual advice. I heard the term Reiki. Some of you guys are considering going into Reiki or you are um, certified Reiki 1 and 2 or you're certified Reiki 1, 2 and you became a Reiki master. Picking up Ki Kwang or martial arts again. I've had this energy come up before. Somebody's thinking about taking mixed martial arts or is a mixed martial arts fighter. Because it's like, I, you know, it's so weird. I, I wouldn't normally get this energy off of this Three of Pentacles, but I just saw somebody get into a ring. Maybe some of you guys feel like you're going into a battle or you're getting or you're gearing up for some kind of momentum or there's an adrenaline rush or you've been feeling like there's an adrenaline rush going on with inside of you or in your mind right now, Scorpio. I do I am picking up, I don't know, I'm seeing like the page of wands, something about energetic communication. But I heard that, you know, when they go to when you're in the boxing ring or you watch a boxing fight, you hear the, the ding, ding, ding. That's what I heard. Somebody's going on another round, another cycle of something. But like I said, I was picking up on ideas. You could be brainstorming right now. Maybe you need to bring in another person to help you to brainstorm. I heard the term ghostwriter. Maybe some of you guys are ghost writers. Somebody still owns a um, an old typewriter. Or somebody's parents still have an old typewriter from the 19... It could be like the 1960s, 70s, or early 80s. I'm picking up like a really... I'm seeing a heavy gray typewriter. The one that you would have to physically put the ribbon in. Somebody loves antiques or likes to go antique shopping. Somebody owns an emerald ring. It could be an heirloom ring. Somebody's going off to the bank today. This is a coin card. Some of you guys are dealing also, too, with earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. Um, weighing, I heard uh, from Spirit, weighing out choices and options, something about getting capital or waiting for capital to come in in order to pursue your dreams for some of you. Part-time job. Somebody just took on a part-time job. Mm-hmm. Let's see what this teamwork and collaboration are coming together is. To a sword, something about a decision. There could also be hesitation whether or not to bring on board, we'll say. For those of you that are pursuing something in particular, you may be um, debating. Maybe somebody was on a debate team in high school. Debating or trying to make a decision or somebody is being blindsided to the truth of a co-worker or somebody is trying to pull the wool over somebody's eyes right now. Blindsided to the truth of something. I almost feel like there's an energy also going on between this three of pentacles and this two of swords. Let's see what's going on here. The King of Pentacles, Taurus of Virgo and or Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But this could also be a banker. I'm picking up a banker or somebody who is in business for themselves, male or female. Picked up construction. Somebody's in the construction business. IBM, somebody made an investment in IBM. For some kind of technical, I'm hearing investment. Somebody could be trying to decide where to invest their money, what companies to invest their money in. Something about UPS. Somebody's waiting for a UPS package.
who or what this could also be a boss figure too somebody may be having some suspicions about a boss figure whether or not this boss may be um, on your side Scorpio but I'm also picking up if this is your specific person some of them are going to be coming back around the bend towards you in the season of Taurus because I see the imagery of the bull in the king of Pentacles card Somebody wants to make an offer or somebody is going to get proposed or engaged to, but some of you may be undecided whether or not to take this person back. This could be somebody who had left you out in the cold, Scorpio, but on the other hand, some of you could have gotten rejected for a loan. Somebody's in need of a car or needs to get a car repaired and may not have all of the finances right now. Somebody had to borrow money from a family member. If it's not in regards to a car, then it's in regards to something that uh, a bill or something that needs to be taken care of. What is the five of pentacles? This is about being ghosted or left out in the cold. Somebody is feeling rejected. Okay, this, okay, interesting. C picking up some uh, spiritual downloads here. We got the four of wands. Okay, so that twin flame soulmate 1111 connection. So a lot of this I'm picking up Home-based business, home-based businesses, um, a lot of you are motivated or have a driving force right now to figure out what it's going to take in order to work from home. Some of you have little children um, and it's been very difficult. Um, I am picking up some of you are single parents. Um, it's been very difficult uh, maybe to find the proper help. And yes, even if the kids go to school, it's always the after part of school. Um, trying to find help maybe to watch your little ones until somebody gets off of work. That's what I'm picking up on as well. But trying to find a home-based business or something that's going to cost very little money to have an investment. But then I'm also picking up this engagement energy coming in after somebody left you out in the cold or... Whoever your specific person is, Scorpio, they're going to leave somebody else out in the cold. And I feel like they're coming back around the bend here, possibly over the next four weeks for some of you, which would in turn put us into the season of Taurus. Um, but there's a decision here. There's a decision here that needs to be made. And some of you may be a little bit standoffish or um, not necessarily confused. Um, I am picking up on the Seven of Cups. Some of you have been confused before in the past about this specific person in what direction uh, the energy is going to flow. I am picking up on the Eight of Pentacles in my mind's eye. Somebody knows that this person needs to earn back your trust, Scorpio. What is this indecision-making process? Why would somebody here be undecided? What's going on? Yeah, holding back. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that on a romantic level, in the romantic sector, somebody's coming back around the bend again because they want to work things out with you after this person left you out in the cold. But again, a lot of you are going to be in this reservation mode right now, holding back. You may be holding back a lot of feelings. And what's interesting here is I have a lot of coin. The coin earth energy is dominating so taurus virgo capricorn energies are dominating that doesn't mean that you are dealing with an earth sign it's just earth energy is dominating over this reading so something here about grounded energy it is about material gains um finances the home life um the tangible stuff okay the 3d stuff that we're dealing with but Somebody may be having a hard time making a head over heart decision because there is no, I don't have any cup cards right now. So somebody's coming in from a practical, what I'm picking up is a practical perspective. But I got somebody here or a group of you that are in reservation mode. 
you may almost feel like if this person comes forward or when they come forward to say, hey, you know, I want to work things out with you, you might hold back a bit. And you know what? And it might be in your highest interest to do so, Scorpio, because this person did some, some really um, shitty ass things. Let's just put it that way. They were attached to their mother. They were attached to their father. They were attached to their siblings. There was narcissistic um, abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse, uh, things like that. And some of you have had to go uh, through counseling. Uh, some of you do go see a therapist. You okay, Toto? My goodness. All right. So there's a reservation going on or holding back or withholding. Why would that be, trusted ancestors? Why would that be? Uncer okay, this would make sense. Uncertain whether or not you're going to move forward with this specific person. So what I'd say to that is taking things slow. You may need to take things slow with this person, even though you've been, for a lot of you, been holding on to the energy of this person from the past or the person that broke up with you, left you, ghosted you, etc., um, but yet wanting to get out of a situation or get out of a clouded situation with this person. And in regards to finances, it could be getting about getting out of debt right now. A lot of you have a very strong desire in the year of 2022 to try to get as much debt paid off in the year of 2022. It's like you want to see, it's, it's like, again, I'm seeing the vision of somebody taking a, like a, a wet wipe and just going over the chalkboard, wiping everything clean, having like a clean slate here. Or you could have choices and options in regards to business and financing right now, but you're having a hard time making a decision, maybe what bank to go to, if it's a bank, if it's um, making a personal investments right now. Message. Okay, somebody's all up in their head right now. Clarifying this three of pentacles. Okay, total, that's enough. Nine of swords. Somebody's overthinking, stressed out, worried, or this person can be stressed out or worried right now because they're overthinking about you or how they're going to come together with you. So right now, a lot of you are in this holding pattern right now. Yeah, because you're worried or concerned that this person is going to be a player and that they're going to play on your energy again because a lot of the inconsistencies. Okay. Toto, stop. Hang on one second, you guys. Got to get that morning T-R-E-A-T. -E oh, yeah. See, look who's excited. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I know. Yep. <laughs> Happy camper. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So this person is worried and stressed out, or you've been, or maybe it's because you feel the pressure to make a decision about this person, Scorpio. Yeah. Secrets. It's about using your best intuition, your best judgment. Your intuition has been increasing or on the rise, Scorpio, or you're wondering if this person has a secret hidden motive as to why they want to come back. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius throughout the month of February. Yeah, Queen of Wands. So this could be the third party or somebody is stressing out about a third party situation. I'd say it would be your person if you know for a fact they are involved with the third party. Three of Pentacles can represent a third party as well. Somebody's concerned about finding out something. Or somebody's been holding back their thoughts. Because somebody here is still very much also too with the Queen of Wands. It is about manifestation. However... Somebody is still very much highly attracted to you, Scorpio. Or they see you going out there to make things happen as well. And this is stressing them out because I, I just heard Spirit say uh, some of these specific partners of yours 
saying I, I missed out on a good thing. That's what I'm also picking up on. What did I do? What did I do? There are mother figures that are still trying to control and dominate over your specific person, Scorpio. Your person's first or last name could start with the letter B or the letter J. Okay, show me again, trusted ancestors, before we wrap up this reading, this teamwork and collaboration or this coming together. Why is it so important to Scorpio's person? Yeah, because they're in love with you, that's why. King of Cups. This person has been in love with you for a very long time, and they know that they messed up, and they, I think they're feeling or picking up on your frequency as well, Scorpio, that you are going to be in this reservation mode, like, mm, I don't know, you know, um... Maybe we can rebuild a friendship. You know what I mean? It's, some of you are going to be in that um, mood, we'll say. And a lot of you are also moving on to somebody else. And this could be making this person stressed or worried. Or they may be thinking that you moved on to somebody else without having all of the facts. Show me the King of Cups. Uh, there's that five of cups I picked up on. This person has so much guilt, remorse, regret again. And waste. I just heard the term wasted time and energy. Wasted time and energy on the third party. A waste. They didn't, again, they didn't trust their intuition. And we all know this. They, yeah, they didn't trust their intuition. And a lot of you guys, some of you guys are tarot readers or you're intuitive, or you just have a high spiritual frequency, a lot of you are anointed. Or this person, again, is going to see you rise to the top, Scorpio. It's, it's like something here is gaining momentum for you, Scorpio, a little bit at a time. You may not feel exactly where it is that you want to be, but this person sees that you're going to end up being exceptionally successful. But be careful because this person, again, could be an opportunist if they want to come back around the bend again. You'll know through their words. The words will say one thing, but then the actions behind the words what is what will kind of, you know, seal the deal. That you were the only one that, you know, they want to be with. But I have you guys in this reservation mode whether or not to take this person back. Again, here, look at this. Rightfully owed apology, bottom of the deck, page of cups. Yeah, they're they're returning. Some of for some of you, it'll be in the next one minute, one hour, one day, one month. I've got six minutes, six hours, six days, six months, um, six month of the year, which would be June, or possibly next week. Could be one week's time. Ace of Wands. This person definitely wants to have a new beginning. Power of number six again. For a lot of you guys, it's going to be happening between now and the month of June. Putting an end to a karmic cycle. Yeah, there's that devil card. Endings. Endings to toxic situations. Karmic cycles right there with the devil card. Yes, it is the truth. Ace of Swords. So they're definitely wanting... I feel like this person is strategizing just a little bit. How they're going to come forward. Or they're overthinking or daydreaming about how to come forward. But they're not sure... If their approach is going to be feasible or acceptable. They just, they're, I feel like this person's a little bit besides themselves. It's because, again, they know what they did to you and they left you out in the cold. But for a lot of you guys outside of the romantic department, you guys are really trying so hard right now to either get out of debt. You're pushing forward towards um, a particular business, a product line, your music, your art, whatever. Uh, just keep going the distance, you guys. That's all you have to focus in on right now. Free yourself. Free yourself of anything that feels heavy or that feels like it is weighing you down. Okay, because you don't need that. You need to move forward into success. Okay, so, and be faithful, be faithful, okay? So, I will be back before you know it.